Welcome back to our channel where we talk all things real estate and lifestyle here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. If you're new here, I'm a real estate agent here locally showing you what it looks like to live here. We are in the middle of January and it's still winter here in Colorado Springs and I just wanted to give a quick overview of something that you might not be aware of if you're new to the area. I know we talk about weather a lot on here and we've done some pros and cons videos about the weather but I want to talk about this specifically since we are in the dead of winter and I was just freezing my butt off last week. So generally in Colorado Springs we experience a mild winter with temperatures in the 40s and 50s we do see 300 days of sunshine in Colorado Springs so the winters don't feel as terrible as maybe in the Midwest or places where it gets colder than it does here however a couple weeks ago we did get a cold front that came through and the temperatures were negative 12 negative 9 negative 8 and then when the wind was going with the wind chill the temperatures were actually in the negative 33 negative 20s so although we are used to winter here because it was so cold the school buses weren't able to run so they canceled school for our kids even though we didn't have a ton of snow that doesn't happen a lot but it does happen so if you own a house in Colorado Springs or you're looking at houses and you're looking at a house that was built in the 1800s or early 1900s early 2000s even where, when they were still using copper pipes copper pipes are not able to expand and contract the way other pipes are so with that when the temperatures get that cold you have to make sure that you have your water running dripping continuously um, to make sure that the line doesn't freeze up you should open your cabinet doors where all your plumbing is to let the heat in and then you should have like a space heater or something in the room where your pipes are, especially the pipes that are farthest away from the main water shut off or the water heater to make sure that your pipes don't freeze. We do have clients, friends whose pipes freeze every year when it gets too cold, they can't prevent it. So in that case, you would have to take the copper pipes out. So that's something to think about when you're looking at houses and you're looking at the age of the home and the plumbing because that can present issues for you in the future. Luckily, the cold front is behind us. We're back in the 40s and 50s, but a lot of times we come on here and we tell you that it's a mild winter. We talk about the weather in general. We don't have the cold fronts a lot, but they do happen once, twice, maybe three times throughout the winter season. So I just wanted to make everyone aware that it can get very cold to the point where your pipes freeze and everything is shut down because it's just too cold outside. If you have any questions about what it's like living here, feel free to reach out.